All right, welcome to another uh, Year of St. Joseph Reflection. This is the June Reflection, and I'm going to focus on Joseph as father and universal patron of the church. Uh, so he's the foster, known as the foster father of Jesus, which, uh, you know, it's, he's the adopted father. He's not the biological father of Jesus, uh, but kind of in more you know, in the context of it, it would be Jewish terms, he's more of the juridical legal because he names Jesus as circumcision. And so at that time, he's saying, this is my child. You know, I'm, I'm going to be the protector, the provider of this child, even if he's not the biological father of Jesus. Um, he's kind of publicly saying, I'm his father. I'm going to be the one who provides uh, for, and protects him uh, as, as, as a father. Um, so it's kind of so in, in the important role of, of the family, then, that he's, as a father, kind of helped to guard, reveal, communicate love. And so Joseph plays a very important part of showing him a masculine part of the, the Holy Family. I know I did an earlier video on the Holy Family, so I don't want to um, take, you know, you can go back to that video if you want. But Joseph, as the father, his offering of himself, his heart, uh, his abilities in service of Jesus uh, as a father, and the, 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 the authority that God the Father gave Joseph, uh, kind of Joseph gets to share in a special way, and, and the, the, the heavenly fathers, God the Father's authority, because Joseph had authority over Jesus, uh, which is like amazing, like, whoa. Like, the second person in the Trinity was obedient to to a creature. Uh, and so, whoa, it's like, well, Joseph would be like, I'm not worthy. And God's father, like, you know, he's like, you're going to be the father of this, you know, to the angel, you're going to be you're gonna be the father of this child. You're going to, you know, kind of have that authority as well as the tender love that he's to communicate uh, to Jesus as a father. So it's special share in kind of manifesting the father's love um, within the Holy Family. Uh, so kind of that, that fatherly role, and Joseph, I think mean, he's just a, a great, uh, well, he's a patron, of, you could say, of uh, patron, actually, I mean, it's, it's from the Latin word father, uh, but really something that, you know, I encourage his fathers to have, to develop a devotion, turning to Joseph for, for assistance to grow as a, as a father, um, and that kind of that tender love uh, it's, um, that, that Joseph would have shown to Jesus uh, as, as his father. Um, his, his legal guardian. Uh, I don't like the word. I don't like the word father, father, because it's not like Mary and Joseph said, "Oh yeah, jo Joseph, he's his father." No, they refer to him in the Gospels as uh, Joseph is referred to as uh, Jesus' father, even though Mary, Jesus, and Joseph. No, he's not the biological father, but there's still he has fatherly authority. Um, and so maybe one day, maybe we'll come up with a better term in English. You know, instead of foster father. Uh, he's the, he's the legal father. He's the he's the legal guardian, custodian, guardian of well, God the Father's most prized possessions, Jesus and Mary, <laughs> um, his treasures. Um, Joseph has the kind of protection, particular role of protector. Um, but yeah, that, as a father, he provides for jo Jesus. He protects Jesus. They go to Egypt, uh, and then he establishes Jesus in terms of his his character kind of helping him grow up. Now, Jesus, he's God, uh, but this, this aspect of Joseph taught Jesus uh, kind of human things in a human way, kind of, you know, those first steps of, of Jesus that Mary and Joseph would have seen uh, and Joseph, Jesus learning to use his hands and kind of motor skills, and this, not, not, not car motor skills, but you know, your, <laughs> your hands and building things. And Joseph would have been able to, you know, be there and, uh, that God humbled himself in Jesus Christ to, to be taught uh, by a human, by, by Joseph. It's just amazing. Um, but he's also the, this fatherly role, it, it spills over. It's not just he's the father of Jesus, but there's this universal patron, patronage of the church. So his protecting, providing, kind of establishing role in the, uh, for Jesus uh, as a father, it, it's, the church is, um, one of the titles is G Joseph as the universal patron of the church, kind of this, as he's the father of Jesus, the head of the mystical body. He's also the father of the, uh, of the body. 
Uh, Jesus is the head, the church is the body, and so there's a certain fatherly role that he has toward all Christians uh, and toward, you know, the, the church uh, in total. In total. Um, so it's important. We, we say at every Mass, we say St. Joseph, uh, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, um, and this importance of he's the universal part of it, why he's named in the uh, at Mass, at every Mass, uh, is because he's the universal patron. Um, and he's He's to, we need his fatherly example, his prayers, his protections to lead us to, to Jesus uh, and to God the Father, and for Jesus to lead us to God the Father. But Joseph reveals something of the Father's love, that tenderness, that, uh, and, you know, we don't have any words uh, of, of, G, you know, of Joseph. Uh, we know he said Jesus when he gave Jesus his name uh, during the circumcision, you know, kind of the naming there, but we don't have any written words of Joseph and something of the you know God the Father and stuff we don't really have a lot of words of God the Father uh, I mean explicitly like you have the scriptures and stuff but there you know some people say well it's just like God is he's so silent uh, well and certainly he's he's loving in the silence uh, and directing um, and I think just that that faithful love that God the Father has uh, toward his people in the Old Testament and Kind of continues on with uh, when he sends Jesus uh, and to found his church and to draw us into his divine family. Joseph kind of uh, shows that in a in a mini way of kind of his his faithfulness uh, to to being the father of Jesus, protecting him, providing for him, and establishing him, kind of helping him just grow in character. Kind of in, in that not that Jesus like was. Was, wasn't virtuous or something, but this idea of being there uh, to help him uh, grow. Because none of us, we, we don't, just as humans, we need others uh, to help us grow. And Joe, Jesus, uh, Lord, our Lord, became man. He humbled himself and allowed others to assist him in kind of his growth as uh, in his humanity. And so he's turned to St. Joseph. Joseph, uh, you're the father of Jesus, the foster father, the legal father, you protected, you provided, you established him. Uh, we ask that you just provide, protect us, especially I pray for all fathers, that they turn to St. Joseph for assistance in growing in their, their role as a father, that they be gentle, uh, but firm uh, and loving, always seeing their role as a father as one of service, of offering their selves in love to their children. Amen. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.